you them all, Captain Birdseye. Stab them, Captain Birdseye. Take their eyes. Kill them all. Mmm. Captain. Mmm. Captain Birdseye. <laughs> I'm not thinking of the real old character. I'm thinking of the old ass man. You know him. You know Captain Birdseye. Ooh, hello there. It's me. Today I'm filled with existential dread because I've got to do two real world episodes in about 10 minutes because it turns out I've got friends visiting tomorrow and kind of forgot. So, um, I'm panicking. I'm, I'm panicking now. I've got a question. While I was doing to whatever I was just doing to Captain Birdseye while she's like, what's your inner real world monologue? What do they sound like in your brain? Because obviously I do the meeps and the moops for them. I don't think I can do it anymore because I haven't done it in a while. Like that. There, yeah, that's it. That's my that's my one. Could just never see Dennis Zug with like a with like a booming deep voice. It just doesn't suit him. He's a tiny little man with no feet. Everybody knows he can't have a deep voice and no feet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because Dennis Zug without feet is like boy. Boy, we're all God's boy. And then you take away his feet and he's like, oh. Hello there, I'm Dennis Hug. <laughs> oh, God. I promise this is me filling for time. I just can't take these little people seriously, okay? That brings me on to my next point. Hold on, i got to come out swinging today. You goddamn motherfuckers in the comments never listen. How many, no, go to the main menu right now. How many times have I got to say this? This has no modded mechanics at all. You know what we've got? We've got 100 optimization mods. You find anything here that adds any new mechanic to the game. It's all for generations to ignore that. As on the on the other side, ignore that. This is what we've got enabled. Does any of this look different? Oh, you probably just disabled it for Alright, I'll go back and I'll load a fucking save game from last month. How about that? It didn't come up saying mod mismatch, did it? Genius. I'm sick of all the zoomers in the comments. Oh, he said he's playing our modded room and then he's got silent level six. Read! Learn to read! There's a wiki with everything you could need to know. Okay? I understand the irony because I portray this fucking clown who can't read. But you are the clown. Nothing amuses me more when people can't dick swing it in the comments. Oh, actually, blah, 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 and then they're just, they're just wrong. They're just wrong. They take something I said as a joke and they try and prove me wrong and then they're double wrong. <clears throat> Sorry, what am I... <laughs> I just want to start the episode at this point. <laughs> I'll make the episode two minutes longer to make up for it. We're all good. So, we are blasting to the Arco Nexus. We are b very slowly blasting to the Arco Nexus anyway. Now here's my plan. I am going to add a mechanical change, a mechanical change in my own making. I'm going to lower the amount of money we need for the next and, and subsequent final two Arco Nexus maps. This was supposed to be a short gap filler series. It is not supposed to take us till... Christmas. I feel like we've very much hit the kind of mid-game lull, right? Where we're just sitting around waiting for stuff to happen. We've got projects on the go and that project is just like this make money, which is the most boring thing possible. And with the new base will come new aesthetics, new things we can do, new designs. We could go for the crazy ideology stuff. We could lean really far into the blind sight and build a big spiky frightening base or something like that. You know, that's, that's all on the cards. But this one needs to go first. We need a fresh slate to work from. I'm going to focus less on the Arco Nexus now and more on my sweet people who have been uh the casualties of trying to focus on the arco nexus right that are trying to to survive long enough and build up the colony wealth etc etc while taking big risks in doing so focusing our wealth on material wealth rather than having like turrets everywhere for example you get bionics dennis zug this is not some sort of generic room world super soldier program though that is obviously the end game of a lot of room world colonies because it's objectively better so why wouldn't it be but he doesn't eat it. He's missing toes and thumbs. His arms are all scratched to pieces. His torso's in a lot of trouble. He's probably trying to take out that mind screw. Can I do that? Remove mind screw? Oh, I'm sorry, Dennis Zog. If we get pain in virtue, which very much might be the next one we reform the ideology with, that would be that would be fine though. If anything, that's a benefit. Captain Murtai, fix my man. Bring Dennis Zog to Oh. A defoliator ship landed right next to the anima tree. Its radius has only grown once, and it's already done significant damage. I cannot believe you've done this. Does this star minimum grow out? It hasn't been here that long. Come on, bird's eye. Oh, though they're not expensive. They're not our good tech arms or anything like that. I would like them to go efficiently because our resources are, are dwindling while I keep trading up for other stuff, other specific stuff, right? Do we need the bionic legs for him? Left middle toe, right middle toe? Uh, arguably, because that is going to impact his movement. Not, not by much. But it's still something, and you got to bear in mind by not giving him bionic legs, we're missing out like a 50% efficiency boost. Well, 25%. 125 until they don't compound. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? My brain is already scrambled. We're, we're already off to a terrible start today. What I am looking for is any sort of persona weapon, mono sword, any sort of quest that might give us something massive. There is an ancient complex out there. 
And I feel like we should definitely go and hit that soon. We also picked that, uh, th that, that, uh, like, dance. It was a dance festival. That's right. Where am I going to build a dance room in this base? <laughs> Say goodbye to the rice farm. It's it's using up prime real estate, and I'm sorry. It's 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 very much in the way here. We're going to build a dance hall. I'm going to move the mortars, because mortars and dancing don't necessarily go too well. I could give him the sword of our ideology, because it counts as legendary. 54% armor penetration, 14 melee damage per second. That's pretty good, though. Give him the blind artifact as a sword, and Dennis Silk becomes the champion of... The champion of our people? Shit, I might just do that. That's kind of fun. The problem is, the base game relic quests take uh, about 40 years to complete. I'm not talking about in-game, I'm talking about real life. I use a mod that generally drops down the speed, and then you have flexibility. Okay, I'll take this quest when I when I want to, right? And I'll just do it whenever. And then it kind of equals out the same anyway, but I don't feel so... I don't feel like I'm waiting for it. Oh dear, that's a problem, isn't it? Derek Law just returned to the wild, and the wild is our freezer. He's guardian of the freezer now. Let him cook. Or, or let him let him eat. Don't cook Derek Lodge. We respect Derek, and Derek will respect us, okay? He is the guardian of the freezer. Just give him a wide berth. Let him have a little snacky. Okay, let him have a little snacky or two. He'll be fine. What a beautiful boy. What a beautiful boy. Unforgivably hideous. It's just, like, really just horrible to look at in every sense. I'm not, like, really putting down anybody's art, okay? I've never seen a mega sloth. I wouldn't be able to draw one either. Maybe that's what they look like in real life. Like, exa exactly that, I mean. There's not even an artist's representation. They just look like that. Let's have a dance festival. A careful dance. Room impression of zero. Oh, because it's not a room. I'm missing a wall. Ah. What? A caravan is arriving. They're an exotic goods trader. Town guard Ellis is none other than Codex's son? He loses one son, he gains another. Ellis, I don't really see the resemblance, but that's okay. Ellis, my friend, 13 mining double passion. There's no way I can get this kid here, is there? They're just, they're just living their life out there in the world. Ellis Merritt, hello. How does that even work? Father mine is 10 because they're estranged? No. Because he, because his father's got an annoying voice, he hates him. Because his father's ugly, he hates him. Wow, aren't you a real piece of shit, Alice? Oh, Dad, you're so ugly. What a horrible child. What an awful, awful shitty child. Where is? Oh, I was about to say, where is Goat Ham? There is Goat Ham. Who is my next best social character? It's Captain Birdseye. Let's go and have a chat. See what they've got. I think we've got a lot of Yayo to sell. And I think they're willing to buy. No, they're not. <laughs> they want to buy some of uh, Dennis Sog's fantastic marble artwork. And who can really blame them? It's a Kenyan assistant. That's the good one, right? That's the good one. That isn't the, uh, the, the horrible one that makes them half sleepy all the time. Who would live their life like that? <laughs> Got deathless. Deathless poor plants. Oh, I know I said I wasn't going to fuck around with it. That's the second time. That's the second time. And that might be fate. What could I trade for this gift? Um, I could trade you a cow. You wanted to buy a cow? I only need one male cow, so I'll sell you a cow. Um, I could sell you another cow. God, Jesus, we're not even close, are we? What if in the next cycle we make him the best mechanic to going, right? By fighting the Diablos and everything else? What if in the final cycle we do some genetic engineering and we give him Arcotech genes so that he's more capable of punching them in the face? It's genius. That way every cycle is gonna feel unique, and I'm a big fan of that. Teeny bit more plasteel. Oh, got a little bit more gold. We're almost there. We're almost there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Exactly the right amount. Good God. I've moved heaven and earth for that. We don't have a gene bank. Oh, good God. What have I done? What have I just done? I've just made a horrible mistake. We haven't got a gene bank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, Xenogenesis. It's only a thousand point research. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Somebody get that to storage fast. Maybe not Dennis Zog. Uh, sadness. Sadness. Grab that. Put it anywhere. If this thing degrades after I've just spent all of our resources on it, I will probably cry. I'll be very sad. I started making that armor. Did I talk about that? I thought it was probably more useful to give Anchor Shanker an actual weapon that's useful against 100% of enemies rather than the uh, rather than the MP, which is very good against mechanoids, but we're not really fighting that many mechanoids. All the mechanoids we're fighting are getting killed fairly early on. Go, Codex. Go, 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 Codex. Go, Codex. Where are you going? You're eating a meal. You're hauling corn. No, 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 no. Stop. I'm going to have Codex not do anything other than turn around. 360, walk away. Come back. Come back here. We'll sort this out afterwards. To be fair, it's not doing anything but research anyway. Don't haul the corn. Eat your meal. Sit down. Go back. I don't even care if that's opportunistic hauling. You haven't got time for that. What is he doing now? Meditating. No, 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 no. I think you misunderstand. You haven't got time for that. Honestly, send it. Full send. And then when he gets to minor or, or maybe even major break risk, then I'll let him have as much time off as possible to get him back to full. And then we'll just keep hitting the research as hard as possible. Keep going. Keep going. We're almost halfway there. We're just, we're just coming up for halfway there. I think we're just about halfway there. So let's, let's let him have a nap now. Now you can go and have a nap. My, my treat. Here. 
Piss off. Go home. This is very, very unnecessary because you'll probably get it long before this thing degrades, but I'm not taking any chance. It's only 10% degraded. You can already tell what's going to happen. It's going to need plasteel, isn't it? It's going to need like 60 plasteel for the dream bag. I'm not going to have it. And then I will cry. We've got some components out here. Have we got any more plasteel? Shitloads of steel. Loads of steel. So much steel that we are not even bothering hauling it back now, apparently. Oh, God, I can't see any anywhere. Okay. Oh, they've done a great job cleaning up the pollution, though. Right, back to work, just in case we need those resources. Go, turn around. Go back to that research bench. Oh, oh, female, female, female. We're fine. We've dodged it. Luckily, with Blind, it's permanent 10 mood boost, right? So he's going to be he's gonna be keeping himself very, very happy, even if I absolutely push him to the limit. Build complete my bonnet like I read a comment from someone who said, please, for the love of God, give a like to Captain Bird's Eye, given that she's your only doctor. And you know what? You make a fair point. No. You don't make a fair point, you fool. I'm going to find that comment. Who's going to do the operation? Flippers. I didn't you can do an operation with that level of medical skill, right? Install bionic leg, left leg. There you go. Medical skill required. Five. We can't. You've just been absolutely had. There are no winners here because I actually would really like her to have a bionic leg if you don't mind. That's okay. These things happen. At least she's not self bloating anymore. I'm happy with at least that much. Hi there. OBS just crashed, so you missed the part where I was screaming at this fucking robot for going through doors that I'd forbidden right into these insects that have spawned in. Why did it do that? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but now I'm going to go smash some insects. I am so glad I built this armory because now I don't have to spend 40 minutes looking through that dump of a stockpile we've got trying to find anything. On the plus side, the second a bolt goods trader turns up, I am loaded. Bird's eye, crack the doors open, and then carefully step back. Carefully step back. Codex, we're not pissing around here. I keep not using combat commands because I'm like, okay, any moment peace could drop in through the ceiling and snap someone's neck by landing on them. That would frighten me. Uh, you know what? No more. No more. I'm just going to use it whenever we got the bloody opportunity. Shoot that bug. Shoot that bug. Wake him up. Get him in here. Join me. Join me in death. In theory, we should be... Like, we're within range there to not have to worry about friendly fire, right? Is there much point in using burden on that? I think they're already slow enough. I think that was a very unnecessary change. Get him, squad. Just lay into him at this point. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn. That was clean. Very nice. Dennis Oak took a little damage. Dennis Oak's not operating at full capacity right now because obviously his legs are all legs are all messy. And now we've got even more of an excuse to replace his legs, given that both his femurs and both his legs just got damaged. Good God. Dennis Oak, were you holding out your legs to those insects so they would eat them and get you a leg replacement faster? Disconnect from Swoofer. I almost might after you betrayed me like this. We definitely need to get our people fighting fit as soon as possible so we can deal with this mess over here. I thought it was just Pintman. It's not. There's a Lancer. There's a Scorcher. There's also oh, there's a Tesseron as well. One of those fancy new mechanoids that I forget a base game. Yes, haha. <laughs> Everything is base game. Everything you see, except for the facial animation and the zoomy swooshy camera, is base game. Okay? We're all good. And a custom font, but that's for readability. You see, it's a dyslexia friendly font because I'm such a damn nice person. Everything else, though, is base game. As surprising as it might be, I'm surprised too. I get it. Swoofed up, pray tell, you little fucker, while you're cleaning up insect mess when the freezer looks like a goddamn barn. I mean, it is a barn. It's where Derek Lodge lives, silly. Cows 13 is the second they get a, 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 a glimpse of freedom, they are just gone. I, you would think I'm mistreating these poor animals. Get that, get that locked. Hey, hey, go home. Oh, Captain Bird's Eye, are you doing what I think you're doing? One bionic leg in place. Now, I'll be honest, Captain Bird's Eye, a little bit worse for wear these days, okay? Missing a finger, a little bit of a scratch car, right leg's gone. She's got to hop on one leg while while carefully installing a bionic leg into uh, into Dennis Zug. I get it. I If she fails this, I understand. I, I mean, I'll have her executed, but I'll understand. I would never. I would never do such a thing. Not unless Codex goes down that path. She's done it, though. She's done it. And he's now fully healed because she took away all the injuries. Because that's how that works. Let's wake up some mechanoids. I've grabbed a lot of mortars over the last couple of days. So let's put them to good bloody use. Fire! Yes. Some of those have got a hit. Some of those have got a hit. Brilliant. One of those has got a hit. <laughs> just don't understand why this blind man is so terrible at operating a mortar. I just don't understand. He's probably the best option we've got given the skills of some of these fucking people in the colony. Come on. Nice. Okay. Couple more, and then they'll leave the ship, and then they'll go through the kill square. Nice save. No. Another one. Okay, well, that's nowhere near where I care about. Another bloody weather controller for fog. Okay, we are going to have to deal with it then, sadly. Okay, last volley. I don't think we've got any more shells after this, right? Oh, we've got exactly three more. Okay. Good hit. And that's it. That's the last chance. Wasn't enough to get their attention, but we did take out a couple of mechs, which I'm happy about. Is there a way I can get them to come close enough that we can shoot them? That will work. 
That will do it. I'm not. I, sorry, I just don't understand why it walked that close when it's got a much bigger range than that. That tesseron scares me. That scares me quite a lot. Do you think we could bait them back now? Oh, she just got wings. What was that? In the ear. In the ear. It said headshot, so <laughs> I was fearing for the worst, but it's okay. Just an earshot. A lovely piercing from a needle gun. There you go. Good as new. Okay, let's send uh, any of the armored carrots out first, I suppose, to draw the fire. We'll follow up with the rest of the squad. Anko Shankar, I might leave you behind. I might leave you behind, but we'll see how we get on. I'm getting kind of impatient about doing this as soon as possible because that defoliator radius is getting mighty, mighty close. Kind of scarily close, actually. You dash up there, and they will bring the rest of the squad in behind you. I should just be enough to pull them forward slightly. Okay, good shit. Barbed wire doesn't give cover, I'll assume. Cover effect is 10%. Some bullets might bounce off. That's good enough for me. Get in there, squad. Okay, Dennis Zog. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go for the test run, go for the test run. Don't go for the test run. You fool. He's got a shield. You actual fool. Nice. 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 There we go. There we go. Oh! Turns out it goes through a shield? I didn't realize it did that. Well, that's, that's totally, totally 100% my fault. That's absolutely, totally 100% my fault. I thought the shields deflected it. So now he's just going to stand there on fire. He's not the smartest, man. They put Dennis Zug out. Probably panicking, to his credit. Oh! No, 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 no. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Get in there. Get in there. Bird's eye. Get down. Um, you lot uh, get, to, get to various, various cover. Hold on. You go there. Um, you can go there. You go there. You go there. And then uh, Karate, uh, Groat Ham, anyone just come forward, please. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't die. Don't die. Don't kill Dennis Zug. I beg of you. Kill anyone. Just don't kill Dennis Zug. Well, don't kill anyone. But, like, if you are going to kill anyone, don't kill Dennis Zug. Or, or, or Codex. Horrible maneuvers. Horrible maneuvers. Actually, it's fine. It was mostly just from the burn. I didn't even know that could happen. Actually, it was mostly from friendly fire. <laughs> okay, that was fine. We took a couple of very, very minor hits, which are not a problem. And most of it was friendly fire. So actually, I feel fine about that. It looked a lot worse than it actually was. Yeah, you lot go smash that. You lot take the day off. Because that way, when they've smashed it, you can turn around and attend Dennis and Ankushanka. Beautiful. Easy job. Oh, that's interesting. Those things spread pollution now. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea. I mean, it's not cool. It's a massive pain in the ass. That's kind of nice they've tied it into modern mechanics. I just can't look at this anymore. I'm going to throw up. I'm actually going to throw up from the state of this place. So we're going to move all of the items into a mountain storage hole. Because we love a good mountain storage hole. Just put an auto door there. There you go. You barely lose any speed. And it'll be a lot more convenient. I can see what the hell is going on. <gasps> Oh my god. Convenient import. That was very convenient. You're right. Trade with them. Go fast. Go fast, go ham. Hello. Would you like to buy a piece of corn or a thousand? Because my god, I have a lot spare. Would you like to buy some cloth? Because my god, do I have a lot to spare? Would you like to buy some dusters? Please buy my dusters. God, I've made too many. I mean, that was the point. I was, it was the most efficient uh, work, work ticks to uh, money output ratio for clothing. Dusters are the best. Oh god, I've made far too many dusters. Pretty much all my colony wealth is in dusters. <laughs> I mean, we could trade it for bold goods like steel and plasteel. That's way more useful than having a ridiculous amount of dusters filling up my stockpile. We sell all the yayo as well. Oh, we buy some medicine. This is kind of liberating, actually. This is very freeing. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll keep some leather because it's used in, like, specific weird recipes, right? Sell me your neutromine, yayo. Uh, sorry, neutromine components, advanced components. We don't need yayo. We've got nothing yayo front. So we're losing approximately 25% of the wealth that we're selling here. So I'm going to keep a little bit of yayo. I don't want to, like, oversell. But, but this will drop our progress to the Arco Nexus. Technically, but who really cares? It's about having fun and nothing makes me have more fun than watching my robots open a door and giving me an aneurysm from stress. For those of you who watched last series and for those of you who watched the series before, the next thing to pop up on the screen will fill you with fear. <laughs> oh, God. I'm still not quite entirely over my cough. I can't be doing doing stuff like that. Then we go back to Recon Armor, right? Which was 3,500 points out of the 6,000 that we need. And then I am untouchable. Uh, not just because I'm a gamer. <laughs> Hello? What? How did someone move an unconscious raccoon into my storage, storage hole? What the hell happened? Oh, and now it's very dead. As a celebration, right, for for fixing all of this garbage and for getting our people repaired and the fact that people can actually dance now, I think we should actually dance now. 96% chance we'll find an ancient complex. It was 96% chance of expected quality was related to a 59% chance was a 20% chance we might get an ancient complex. You understand? Can't apply reward. We already know it. Okay, so this is 0% chance 
<laughs> finding an ancient complex. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to retract all of my previous statements. I would like to instead go to this ancient complex 1.9 days because it's all through frigging mountain. Oh, do you think Dennis Zug could solo that? Send Dennis Zug and Sadness. Send the alpaca as a friend. And what are you packing there? A bunch of raw corn, some simple meals, and some medicine. I love it. I love it. That's a picnic. You can't disconnect the speakers from power. The power grid is slightly overloaded, not by much. It's because we've just come out of another freaking eclipse. Well, in that case, I'll just connect it all to a switch, because that's a real pain in the ass. It's going to make the dancing more fun, too, because now they're going to have to avoid slipping over all these cables. There's no count as away button in the base game. Oh, so if we caravan out with anyone, they'll immediately start crafting the, quote, missing items, even though we know there's no missing items. Oh, for shit's sake. So I've got to manually come in and suspend this now. Boo. We've got another exhausted goods trader. Oh, God, you idiots. We've got another exhausted goods trader, but we've got to be careful that we don't sell too much stuff. We're just trying to build colony wealth at this point, right? Only buy things if they're essential, like word of love. <laughs> like word of love? Coagulizes, healing enhances. Oh, God. For my good friend. What's his name? Not Grigna. What's his name? Dennis Zog. <laughs> that was a necessary evil. And in fact, for Codex, that is a necessary evil. Because now I can make people love him. Because he has no social skills. So there was absolutely no way otherwise. Whoa. Having no social, does that allow you to bypass regular relationship? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cannot romance Captain Bird's low opinion. Oh, shit. I might not have needed that. You might just be able to romance someone. Crafty. Crafty, hello. Low opinion. Well, nobody likes him because he's he's disfigured and has no social opinion, so he would struggle. But I wonder if I even needed that. Maybe you could just force it. Another alpaca just self-tamed. Oh! I mean, those are pack animals, obviously. Otherwise, they wouldn't call them alpacas. That's amazing, because now we might actually be able to do some really significant caravanning. Hello there! I'm here for your... Oh, no. Oh, well, I was here for your hermetic crates, but that doesn't look like a bloody hermetic crate to me. That doesn't either. Two security crates. Can we grab that and get out? Because the mechanoids take a while to get up, right? Oh, good. Uranium. That's what we needed. Really happy about that. More uranium. Brilliant. Why, why did I come here? Why did I come here? Although I've learned a lot of good lessons about the base game, this is a very harsh lesson. The base game complexes seem to suck. Normally, I play with the better quest rewards mod because why would I ever do half of these bloody quests when just sitting here doing the things that they're normally doing without the inconvenience is making more money, which is ultimately the goal right now, right? No, no, no. Stop these social fights. You've just you've just broken her nose forever. Flippers used his fist hesitantly, but viciously beat her in the nose. Cannot wait to leave these people behind. It's gonna be Codex, it's gonna be Goat Ham, and it's gonna be Dennis Sog, and they're gonna be best fucking friends. And they are gonna go to the Arco Nexus and they're gonna punch an Arco Tech each. That's right, we're punching three Arco Techs now. Really, what we should do, given the, uh, shall we say, ramp up in uh, money producing facilities, is. But we need it, we need it, right? Because Flippers needs the AO, Captain Birds Eye needs the Yayo. Uh, Goat Ham has an addiction to Psyche. If I don't do this, I, I'm potentially going to um, cause them at least severe medical problems, maybe even death, okay? I haven't got a choice but to do this. What I'm saying, though, is we're going to need some turrets to defend us. So what, what, what I think I'll do is thicken up this wall, mine out the middle of it, and then throw a bunch of turrets in there. I think that's a fantastic idea. Thank you. I've just made a tremendous error in judgment, and now we have to deal with a hundred man hunting deer. Not quite a hundred. But, uh, but quite a lot. I've made a tremendous error in judgment. Dennis, Dennis Zog, allow it, let, let him pass. Let him pass. There you go. Dennis Zog and Ankushanka. Dinner is served. This isn't a manhunter pack. This is a psychic wave. Boom. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Appreciate that. I don't know why I went out. I wanted to try and speed things up. Like, there's no point. They would have just died on the traps anyway. Gift for Dennis Zog. Put all your eggs in one basket because famously, that goes really well in RimWorld. Until a fucking roof caves and it kills him instantly and i think now the only the only phrase i could use is you will never get this i am a fiend with a jetpack i am untouchable i am unstoppable really charge rifles would be the next logical upgrade right marine armor plus jetpacks would be better than than locust armor for sure give me the pulse charge munition first then we'll talk about that later okay that's a, that's a later problem first things first we're gonna put some fucking turrets down before we all die horribly <gasps> I haven't researched turrets. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm talking about doing things slightly out of order. Oh, I completely forgot. I got guns, and then I was like, yeah, that'll do. Fine, move on. Fuck off. Mind your own business, okay? It's my front lawn. I'll dump whatever I want on there. Ooh, now this tickles my pickles. That seems quite easy. Four grand just to take care of someone for 23 days. 
Boom. Ah, oh, Mr. Hunt, I see you've arrived in one piece. Oh, no, sorry, it's Mike Bradfors. Hello. Oh, God, you are shit. Oh, my God. I thought ankle shanker was bad, but good God. Oh, good news. I solved the mechanoid problem. Or at least this imperial tribute collector has. That's what they are, right? I don't think I'm missing out on, like, an actual... Yeah, that's fine. I'm not missing out on an actual trade caravan. Oh, great work. Really just fantastic stuff there. And now I can swoop in and tidy up the last... <laughs> the actual weather control itself. Dennis, go do this. And we get to take credit for it, too. That's the best part. Oh, and if I rescue these people, that'll help the... Uh, that, that'll, that'll improve relations with the Empire. Get over here. Get over here and then tend them. This is great. This will make up for the fact that I keep dumping loads of toxic waste in their garden. <laughs> you got to admit, I'm very good at Rimod. I think I dealt with that, that weather cluster fantastically. I mean, that was that was really just superb. Not even a single piece of damage. That was a hitless run on a mech cluster. Uh, one day after maybe four or five or six or seven or eight thousand hours, you two will be this good. Maybe. Maybe if you're good. Just ignore the fact to press the wrong button then. <laughs> Shit. I'll get him next time. Food binge, goat ham. Overdose, goat ham. Consuming, yeah, you're not supposed to eat it with your mouth. Go ham. As per YouTube terms of service, of course, I should remind you, you shouldn't eat it at all. And I absolutely cannot encourage that thing unless I flag the video as discussion of drug use, which I am not going to do because that will get me demonetized. I would never do that. <laughs> Might already be too late, to be honest, judging by some of the shit that's happened in this video. <laughs> I think Go ham's just so desperate. So desperate to understand why he wasn't chosen and Codex was. Why has Go Codex been able to see these architects that Goat ham wants to see? He just doesn't get it. We'll blind you one day, go ham. We'll blind you one day. I mean, I can blind you now. I'm just not, because, like, it's more useful you having eyes, to be honest. I'm just kind of annoyed at how slow Codex works these days, but that's okay. It's a price we must pay for his happiness. That's a price you must pay for his happiness. Then I have to make a confession. I was going to do the bit where you plant a tree, then a chunk to really slow them down and spread them out so they're easier to kill. I realized I couldn't plant trees, so I just planted roses at the entrance of the kill box. <laughs> I, re I realized I didn't have trees sewing far too late. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. At least they'll have a nice final sight before they get gunned down horribly. Psychic Emanator puts us in touch with the Arcotex. Give me that. I'll take one of those too. Oh, it's a waste pack dump. I wish I'd have read that first. Oh, shit. Well, where the fucking hell am I going to put those? I've really just made a oh, classic blunder there, haven't I? A real, a real stinker. I started recording this episode actually 12 hours ago. I've been recording 12 hours solidly. I went and I did stuff in my real life because I had stuff to do because I'm a very busy person. Then I came back and I recorded more. But really, when you do the same episode over the course of 10 hours, you feel like your brain is going to fall out of your nose. I'm having fun playing, otherwise I wouldn't play, okay? This is the problem with you people. Is you're going to watch this episode, you're going to see me raging at the start, right? And then you're going to say, he hates Remord, he hates this series, I don't know understand why he does it because there's no nuance there's no b everything's a binary now either series is beloved and i love every second of it or i hate the series peaks and troughs like a piggy they eat from a peak and a trough <laughs> i'm gonna go to bed soon i think this is the, certainly the worst part of the series and i can tell you why because uh, i'm fucking sat here waiting to hit 350,000 wealth we're up to 200,000 it's almost over okay it's almost over. Look at how look at how much acceleration we've picked up. This was like yesterday's episode, because I remember pointing it out. We've fucking flown. So tomorrow, we get to start a new base, and I'm very excited for that, because I'm really limited in where I can build here. Like, I've covered a, a good chunk of the buildable area, like like easily 30, 40 percent. Probably closer to like 20, let's be honest, but don't, don't, don't think about it. Try not to. Try not to. Join the other people in the comment section in not thinking. And if you think I'm talking about you, I'm not. So that's, that's great. <laughs> Ah, oh, heavy auto cannon turret slay, or at least I'd hope so. Otherwise, I'd probably want to refund the bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, just have lost all reverence for this game, haven't I? Just totally lost all reverence at this point. I even grow cotton for dusters when I could just grow more drugs. Ah, <laughs> oh, just embrace it. Just embrace it. Leave your life. Codex the drug baron. Who needs to punch an arco when you could just... Oh, shit. I was going to say punch God, but that was the whole point. For, uh, from having so many drugs is what I meant, but it's, it doesn't matter. Like, when you see God, yeah. You probably could with 840 yayo. Forget about the arco nexus. Just, just get in there. 
Just get in there. How long has Derek Lodge been in the fridge at this point? <laughs> Can we see the log? Can we see, like, when we first tamed him? We just have absolutely no idea. Records, here we are. Thomas the Colonist, 31 days. Time spent under a roof, 34 days. Well, that's not bloody right, is it? Oh, you mean he's been in there for 34 days solidly? Well, that's not right either, because we've definitely played more than 34 days, you little prick. I'm not complaining, but my 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 not-so-tame Mega Sloth has been locked in a freezer for 38 days, though. I'm not quite complaining about that. You're comfortable in there, though, right? What's your comfortable temperature? You're right. Minus 55. He's fine. He's in his element. He loves it. He's got the radio on. Windows cracked. He's fine. Dennis Zug, you have been chosen as the champion of Codex, and therefore... You will get converted. Um, we could really do with some more room impressiveness in here, but I don't really know what else I can do. I've, I've, I've very much limited myself by the size of the room. At the very bare minimum, we swap out the plant pots for more of Dennis Zug's lovely statues. That'll help boost it up. And I could definitely, I could feel like every flat surface not covered in stuff with more statues. They can just climb over it. It's fine. This base is a nightmare. This is everything I hate about base game Rimworld bases, and I'm, I'm making it worse for myself. That's slightly better. 18% chance of masterful. Please, save me the hours of conversion. I just can't deal with it in the base game. It just makes me... Who the fuck's Mike? Oh, it's my guest. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, no, sorry, I forgot. Please. I <laughs> thought some random man had turned up. Oh, God. I would say it's the worst case scenario, but actually nothing at all has changed. What the hell has happened there, then? I feel like I've done something. We've got something active that would stop... Oh, hello. I could take this on for... 8,000 silver, but instead you're going to send me every mechanoid I've ever seen. Now you're good. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on with uh, the lack of raids all of a sudden. Like, it was so consistent, and now it's just like, bang, gone. And we're still on strive to survive, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. How have we had two people killed? Who's the other person? We had sweet little raging chef, and I wonder if like a temporary guest died. That wouldn't count though, would it? Oh, we haven't had anyone else die. Either way, I'm not sure. But we haven't got any raiders turning up. And I'll be honest, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I am just a simple, simple farmer. A simple farmer. Well, that is all we have time for today. I hope that my silly jokes and japes and jives have been funny and have kept you entertained, little Zuma. While we do, absolutely fuck all in-game. Hopefully laughing at the silly people living their lives has been enough for you. If not... No refunds, but definitely in that mid-series dip, the mid-series lull, it happens every series. It's just uh, a side effect of the game. When you get to that middle part, you're doing the research and the uh, boring stuff and establishing and blah, blah, blah. Not quite at your end goal, but still working towards it. And there's kind of that slow grind, but that's what the game is. It's a, it's a survival game after all. But in base game real world, I can't divert and go into some crazy projects, right? I can't do some weird thing or, or spin this in a way. We don't have the room to do anything like that, sadly. But next base, uh, I, hopefully, obviously it depends where the Arco Nexus drops us, will be be um, a bit more of an interesting map where I can build out and go for different different defense designs and that type of thing and build bigger buildings and have dedicated buildings, not just everything kind of crammed and cramped and horrible. So tomorrow, we're going we're gonna to blast through the final part of this base. No matter how long it takes, we're just going to go from however much money we've got now to however much money it will take. Maybe it will be 30 minutes of raids. Certainly hope not. And we're just going to make as much Yayo as possible. And we're going to get going to the next Arco Nexus. From then on, because I've said before, this is going to be a shorter series. I will be lowering the amount of money we need for the next subsequent Arco Nexus map. But I'll be increasing the difficulty to make it harder, but faster. And I think that's a really cool compromise. Thank you to Bonarath. Lucrative. Super. Cucar Punga. Banjo Slurp, Danny the Dandelion, Swole Quackers, Pinus, Waffles and Whiskey, Mochi Panda, Mr. Altissimo, Danny Forrest, Crackadaka, Tort Nerdy to Me, Sin of Pie, Deathcore, Hippie, or Kansas, Spidey Cloned, Zachary Whitaker, Amarok, Cryoxis, Toxin, Spongy1312, Leopold Multi, Ken the Eagle, Anemone, an enemy of anemone, anemones, Genuine Guy, and of course, everyone else at the executive producer stays over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you as well to Attila and Graymo, Rhino3333, Romario, Kai, Paulus Bartis, Brian Elliott, Vibes, Whiskey Queer, Lilac Logan, un 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 Uninvited Haggis, Ravioli Lad, Corrupt Racer, Mahasvara, and Sondre. Why'd you give me all the hard names in one day? How dare you? <laughs>